Welcome back to the Gun Dungeon, guys. I got a fun one lined up for you today. Today, we're gonna be comparing the 10 millimeter against the 44 Magnum. Now, before everybody, anybody jumps in and says, 10 millimeter is not as powerful as 44 Magnum. I know, 10 millimeter is not as powerful as 44 Magnum. But this test, we're gonna be shooting through some heavy bone. We have some pork hocks here with a pretty good sized bone in it. Got two of those lined up, as you saw in the, in the intro. We've got two layers of deer leg bones behind those, and then I have a layer of beef ribs behind that, and then a gel block to catch it. Now, the point of this test is this is hard cast versus hard cast, hence the heavy bone. And if you've ever been on a gun forum, you'll see several threads talking about bear defense and 44, 10 millimeter. You see it all the time on the high road. If you're not a member of the high road, make sure to go over there to the highroad.org. It is a massive well of information. A lot of great guys there. Go check them out. A lot of good conversation. But like I said, there's all the forms everywhere have bear defense and all this. But and like I said, 44 Magnum is more powerful than 10 millimeter, especially when shooting it through a seven and a half inch Ruger Super Red Hawk, or Super Black Hawk, my bad. So you got a seven and a half inch barrel there, and we're gonna be using a four and a half inch barrel for the 10 millimeter. So all the advantages are going to the 44 Magnum. You're gonna have a 305 grain Underwood ammo, gas checked, hard cast bullet. So a heavier bullet, and that's rated at 1,325 feet per second, so that's boogieing. The 10 millimeter is a 200 grain hard cast at 1,250 feet per second. So my question is, is yes, the 44 Magnum is more powerful, but when you're comparing hard cast to hard cast and you're going through heavy bone, how much does that power actually make a difference? As far as bullet diameters go, 44 Magnum is only 0.429 diameter, not 0.44 like the title would have you believe and 10 millimeter is a 0 0.40 so not a lot of difference in diameter and these are non-expanding bullets so so anyways without talking too much before we get going let's go ahead and line up i'm going to shoot the 10 millimeter first out of the xdm we'll see how they do it's going to destroy these hawks so i've got two more of these i don't have any of the rest of the stuff so we'll just have to make do but we'll see how they do 10 millimeter coming up first guys so this is how it was laying haven't touched anything definitely drilled through bone with that good hole you can see the bone fragment coming out the back did we hit bone in the second one yes we did and you can actually see a hole all the way through that thing maybe if i can line up there it is see that hole all the way through and through bone now we did hit a deer leg here looks like we may have missed the second layer uh, don't know where the other piece went anyways and let's see the bullet is not in the gel so it's got to be there it is there it sits right against that bone in the beef rib wow that is buried in there yeah let me dig that out and I'll show you what that bullet looks like all right guys so that took some work to dig out of that beef rib it was buried in that bone right there but that's our 10 millimeter bullet right there that is it after the shot let's try 44 magnum guys i have messed with this because i've looked for the bullet and i cannot find the bullet anywhere this is what i picked up off the ground that i could retrieve of the the pork hawks the rest of it is just exploded this piece was actually found like 10 feet that way off of the table so i think just seeing how the front two pieces reacted. It's very obvious the 44 Magnum is much more powerful than the 10 millimeter. However, on this, it, it did bust through this bone. It busted through this bone. There's some more hawk chunks, but I can't find 
I thought maybe this was a hole in the rib, but I, I, it's not. I can't find a hole in the beef rib. That was where the 10 millimeter was. And there's nothing on the backside of this beef rib. So I don't know if the bullet just deflected and missed this completely, or if it stopped somewhere in the bone, which I highly doubt, but it destroyed everything in front of it. And it's not in the jail block. I've searched the jail block, so I'm not sure it had to have deflected. But either way, I hate that we didn't catch a bullet on the on the 305 grainer, but this is what it is, and I don't have more of these to line up and try again with 44 Magnum. But it just blew them apart anyways. So yeah. Well, there you have it guys. 10 millimeter versus 44 Magnum hard cast, non-expanding bullets. I think it's safe to say that 44 Magnum is an obvious clear winner. Yes, it had a longer barrel than the 10 millimeter, but those two results as far as energy, ex energy expulsion onto the target, not even close. Even with the same diameter, close to the same diameter bullets, 44 Magnum was definitely heavier, more sectional density, so it's gonna penetrate more as well. Even though we didn't capture a bullet, we know for a fact that the higher sectional density and weight and muzzle velocity is going to give you more penetration. So that's what I got for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was fun to do. If you did, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And until next time, guys, stay tuned. <music>